Hey everyone, it's me Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So I'm filming this clip really quickly because my camera's getting ready to die, but I am going to be doing a weekend reading vlog this weekend. So um, excuse my room, it is a literal mess right now, but I am popping in really quickly to start this clip or this video before um, I, my meeting. I have a meeting in about 20 minutes and I have some food and I'm getting ready to eat really quickly and then go to my meeting and then I plan on doing some reading today. So my reading plans are City of Bones. Um, hopefully I'll finish that this weekend as well as One to Watch which I am currently listening to on audiobook. So um, we'll just kind of see how my reading goes this weekend but I'm really excited to hopefully get in a few last minute reads before the end of the month because it is the 30th and um yeah the last day of the month is literally tomorrow so yeah we'll see um yeah I'm gonna go eat and charge my camera and do my meeting and I'll probably talk to you guys a little bit after or like a little bit later so yeah okay so I'm not even gonna lie I have not done any reading since I last updated so I did do some reading like earlier today like before I started like filming for this and I was listening to one to watch and I think I was like 58% and now I'm at like 64% but yeah I haven't really done much reading um I do have another meeting in like 10 minutes so I think I might try and get a couple pages read before that starts um but i am reading city of bones by cassandra claire i am currently on page 362 so i am like pretty far into it and i can see myself finishing this pretty soon um i am gonna have a reading vlog coming out for this because it is on my 21 books to read in 2021 list so i do plan on having a reading vlog for this coming out soon as well so yeah but i think i am going to like I said, read a few pages before my meeting starts in like the next 10 minutes. So. guys so it is saturday and i just got to work um so i'm about to go in here i do have to work today i have been listening to my audiobook on the way to work um which my audiobook is going to watch and i can't remember if i told y'all but i'm pretty sure that i did that it's like a plus size version of the bachelorette and if you've watched The Bachelorette, um, obviously you know, but it kind of reminds me of Hannah Brown's season of The Bachelorette with like the guys and stuff that are like on here. So I don't know. It just seems like very much similar to um, that season of The Bachelorette. Like, I mean, it still feels like original, but like also kind of not at the same time. I don't know. I am still really enjoying it because I do feel like the message in it is very very powerful um as far as like people like judging people based on their um weight and like body size and stuff and like that is absolutely ridiculous that people feel the need but anyways yeah but i am really enjoying this um i have about three hours left but i am listening to it on two times speed so i am currently 73 percent so i should have it finished probably in around an hour and a half give or take um like i said i am getting ready to go into work i think i will have some paperwork to do this morning and if i do then i will listen to my audiobook while i am doing said paperwork um but it is my last day day at my job um i have been recently going through a job transition so it is my last saturday working and so yeah also i haven't really mentioned this but i am getting ready to move as well um it will be a slow moving process um but yeah so expect moving vlogs probably um not like too soon but like soon um but 
yeah so like i said i've been listening to my audiobook we'll probably finish that today most likely we'll finish that today also i am looking to finish city of bones today as well i did get some of that read last night um not exactly sure what page i'm on let me look and see okay so last night i did leave off on page 389 which is 80 percent. so hopefully i can finish that today as well but we'll see i do have to go pick up my groceries when i get off work today so yeah so i don't really plan on doing much today like i get off at three o'clock it's currently 7 30 and i get off at three o'clock so so I'm gonna pick up my groceries, go home, and then probably read and hopefully finish City of Bones tonight as well as one to watch tonight. And then tomorrow obviously is August 1st. So hopefully I can really hit the ground running with my reading for August. So yeah, that is pretty much this update. And I've been talking for like 30 minutes and I should probably go in because I'm technically supposed to be there at 730 But also technically not supposed to be there till 8. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and work my last day and I will talk to you guys probably when I get home Hello, so it is 8.22 so it's been like 13 hours since I updated um, So yeah I'm trying to finish okay so I wanted to finish these before the end of the month and so obviously the end of the month is literally in like three and a half hours so I'm gonna try and finish these in the next three and a half hours so first I'm gonna try to finish one to watch I currently have about 57 minutes and 41 seconds left but obviously I'm listening to it on two times speed so that's about 30 minutes so I think that if I can get this one listened to by nine o'clock and then I think that I can have the rest of City of Bones read before midnight so because I think I only have I'm on chapter 21 and I think there's like 23 chapters in an epilogue so I feel like that's like doable because I think it's less than 100 pages like I'm on page 389 out of 485 so a little bit less than 100 pages i think it's doable to read 100 pages in like three hours well yeah like three hours so yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna put on an asmr room like on my tv i think i might play like some candy crush or something while i'm listening to one to watch and then pick up the city of Jones and try to read that before midnight that's the plan for right now obviously if I fail literally horribly at it I will let you know so I will keep you updated for sure okay so I have just finished one to watch by Kate Stamen London and it was honestly so good like uh, like it was literally so good like I'm giving it 4.5 stars like yeah yeah it was so good I absolutely loved it um but yeah so it's currently 8 55 I don't know if you can see that okay so it's 8 55 and I am going to now pick up City of Bones and try to get this finished before midnight so we'll see if I can do it um I'll probably update again probably in like another hour or so or like when I finish this so yeah I also haven't eaten dinner and it's literally nine o'clock so I'm kind of hungry but we'll see I think I might go make some popcorn and eat that so yeah I'm gonna get to reading so yeah
Alright, so as you guys saw from that last clip, I finished City of Bones by Cassandra Clare at 1122. So I was able to finish this in July with 38 minutes to spare. Excited that I finished this. However, I will be picking up City of Ashes next month to continue my buddy read with my friend Allie because we are reading the entire Shadow Hunter world together. We're buddy reading, so um yeah, so next month it will be City of Ashes. Yeah. So I think tomorrow, since it is officially August, um I think I will end up starting a new audiobook. I think I will end up starting the Happy Ever After playlist or something like that by Abby Jimenez on audio and then I think I'll end up starting City of Ashes and playing Bad Heroines but for now it is 11.32 and I'm tired so I think I'm gonna go to bed and I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. so it's Sunday now and I just woke up from a nap but I just saw earlier I was working on my reading journal just kind of updating it with like everything that I read the last few days of the month last month since it's now officially August and so basically that's what I was doing there um I did start reading the happy ever after playlist by Abby Jimenez I'll throw a picture up um but I did start that today um just kind of while I've been doing my journal and then I went to go eat with Michelle and who's my stepmom if you don't know but um so we went to go eat lunch and the place that we went was like 15 minutes away so I was like listening to that in the car and um so in the happy ever after playlist I am 38 percent so I have gotten a pretty hefty chunk listened to today um but I am kind of in a reading mood right now so I would like to pick something up physically however I'm not sure about starting something new because the only book that I'm like currently I guess like kind of in the middle of is A Reaper at the Gates right now and so that's like the only book that I'm reading physically at the moment so I might want to pick that one up but the thing about that one is so you guys are gonna be like okay you're being like dumb but 
I want the whole series in paperback. So I have A Number of the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, and A Reaper at the Gates, all three in paperback, which leaves A Sky Against the Storm, which I'm pretty sure the paperback version of that was originally supposed to come out in August, like on like August 8th or something, I believe is when it was supposed to come out. Like it was supposed to come out like in August, like A Sky Against the Storm in paperback. And it turns out it's not coming out until December. So I'm trying to like low key kind of wait to read a Reaper at the Gates because I want to be able to get the paperback version of A Sky Against the Storm because I want my series to match. Like maybe I should have just gotten them all in hardback just to begin with but like I'm kind of vibing with like paperbacks recently. Um Yeah I don't know if any of you guys follow on Instagram. Her name is Audrey. Her Instagram is like at reading Rawlings and literally her shelf is so aesthetic like she only buys paperbacks and it's literally like it looks so good so i have been kind of like on a paperback train recently plus you know paperbacks are just a little bit cheaper than hardback books but yeah so i'm just kind of at like a standstill on if i want to pick up or you're at the gates because like i said if i get sucked into it then obviously i'm gonna want to finish it and probably want the next book so kind of just don't know what to do I think I might end up picking it up anyway and just like suck it up and then just have to wait until December because I've had to wait longer than that to read the last book in a series so I think I might just have to suck it up and read some of Rebirth the Gates. I also think I kind of want to get some editing done as well because I have been really slacking all well, as I'm posting this like I have been really slacking on content lately but I was out of town for like two weeks so yeah but hopefully can get back on making more content and stuff and getting up regularly for you guys but I'm trying to decide do I want to start Reaper the Gates or do I just want to go ahead and start my 21 books pick that I picked I literally picked I drew a book for my 21 books like literally like two months ago and I just haven't gone around to reading it because I've been like busy and like reading other things and stuff but yeah I'm just trying to you know I think I'm just gonna go with a rebirth gates just call it a day you know so yeah I think I might get a little bit of that read as well as maybe do some editing and stuff so yeah I will probably talk to you guys a little bit later and then just kind of like go over like everything that I read this weekend and hopefully I don't forget so I will talk to you guys in a little bit hello so I just kind of wanted to pop in really quickly and go ahead and end this vlog. So this weekend was a very, very productive reading weekend for me. I was able to finish three books this weekend, which is literally absolutely awesome. Um, especially considering two of them were like, I guess technically rush reads for me to like not carry over into the next month if that makes sense I guess but okay so first I ended up finishing one to watch by Kate Stamen London and this was so good I gave it 4.5 stars it was a bachelorette type book but with a plus size main character it was really good um yeah I really enjoyed it and then I finished City of Bones by Cassandra Clare and this is the first book in the Mortal Instrument series and yeah I gave this one three stars I was reading this for a buddy read and yeah yeah it was just okay I did a spoiler free reading vlog on this if you want to check that out if you haven't seen it yet but yeah I just didn't love this but hopefully I will like the later books in the series maybe a little bit more but We'll see. And then finally, I finished the Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez, and I loved it. I gave it 4.5 stars, and that is about a girl whose fiance has died, and one day she runs over a dog and it like hops into her sunroof, and she tries to get a hold of the owner, but he is actually on tour for his music, and it's just a love story between them and I absolutely loved it I literally read it today like I started this morning and I finished it 
today so i really enjoyed it i thought it was so good but yeah so that is going to be all for this video i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel you don't have to it would be awesome if you did though thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video